back again with another exciting video. Today, I want to talk about wisdom, intelligence, because this is something that is not focused on in this spiritual working community. Everyone wants to focus on abstract things. Everyone wants to focus on, you know, opening their pineal gland. They want to focus on all these, you know, heavy things, but they don't want to master the basics. Before you can evolve into greater mysteries, you must master yourself, your body, your mind. So, I want to take you guys years ago. I remember this uh, older guy, he's probably 65, 66, whatever. He told me, Leonard, I want you to go remove this uh, rock that's or this block that's stuck in the wall. I feel that I'm young, I'm vibrant, you know. Here I go. Hmm. Put, poke my chest out. I walk up to the wall and I start muscling and muscling, trying to check this block out the wall. I mean, I'm thinking it's, it's, it looks loose. I can basically muscle out. Oh, you see veins coming out my head, out my neck, struggling. Here this 65-year-old man walks over. All he does is take a spatula out and just shakes. He puts it by the side of the rock, cuts the edges, or basically he shakes it and a rock easily comes out. That was wisdom. For you dope boys out there, when your OG or your older head gives you game, you think I'm going to go out there and hustle and do the things out the way I want to. But that OG has been around before you. He knows the dangers of the streets. He tells you, gives you a warning. Now you go out there, you get shot up. He gave you game. So you don't make the mistakes which many people have in his day. That's wisdom. Now, let's put this in a perspective of spiritual work. As a spiritual worker, you have to have been in a position yourself. I was desperate like you one day when my lover left me. I got down on my knees and begged my lover, please don't leave me. Until one African American brother at one time raised me up. He taught me the workings. He taught me African American root work. And when I learned, I never went back to my carnal ways. When I did this, I started seeing results, manifestations. And then it carried me out through the years, even when I built on top of what I learned. So I went through trial and error. I went through things backfiring on me. Just like the OG, just like the older man, they had years of experience to know what I was doing wrong and they knew and the end the OG knew what was to come for the younger dope boy who was to enter the street without the experience the OG had. So for me, to instruct today, it's because I've been through a lot, trial and error. Doing this for myself. Doing this for others. Listen. When I was in my early 20s, I was at my mama's house doing root work. I had so much clientele coming to my mama's house, they thought I was selling drugs on the block. 
I had the finest Cadillacs coming to my house. Preachers. <laughs> Drug dealers coming to my mama's house. They thought I was selling drugs. But in reality, I was counseling OGs. I was counseling people in church. At a young age, I was doing this. Now today, I'm in my mid-30s. There's wisdom. There's trial and error. Again, I want to say this as you people are listening. I am not perfect. I am not infallible. I am a human being. But I've lived long enough to experience certain things. So I know when I say this, don't put that work there. Don't use that color. Don't write that. Don't do this. It's because it's experience. I've been through it. I know what's going to happen in most of you. And just like that video I made about that girl who was crying because she got, no, she was basically saying that the spiritual worker fucked her up. He gave her the wrong work and her boyfriend tried to kill her. Yes, that video is still up on here. I told her a year before she did it that the work was wrong and she's going to get hurt. And what happened? A year later, she came back to me to tell me I was right. She should have listened to me. And this is not to exalt myself. No. This is just to explain to you what wisdom can do. With that said, I conclude this video. I wasn't going to leave y'all like that. <laughs> I got to give you guys something else. Intelligence. Intelligence is a very important faculty. It is like a muscle. You're using it to use discretion or to discriminate or what we call thinking or to think. There's a lot of people that want to get into the, the spiritual or metaphysical, but they don't know how to think. They do not know how to successfully bring reason together with intuition. Intelligence is a necessity because intelligence gives you the ability to interpret. You have to be able to interpret as a spiritual worker. When someone comes to you, as I like to do, I tell a client, if you know what your situation is, you don't have to do a reading. But if you don't know what your situation is, we can table the discussion and I'll receive what the Spirit has to reveal to me. For me, to convey to you. Now, let's just say the client knows what the situation is. She took a bottle and she cracked her boyfriend over the head with a bottle because she found him cheating whatsoever. Let's say that's the situation. Or let's just say dude walks in and finds some dude fucking his bitch. All right, so now we know what the situation is. When you're using your intelligence, you're able to look at the situation and see what angle you can attack it from. Now, let's just say, after the female finished cracking her boyfriend over the head with a bottle because she caught him cheating, she's left an imprint, not only on his head, but she's left an imprint of an abusive lover in the mind of her lover. What can we do to remove that? What can we do to help the situation? This is where your thinking comes into play. Let's be realistic. We have to think about the scenario. Well, you did this to your boyfriend. You have to think at all angles what way you're going to attack it from. You have to strategize.
God gave you a brain for a reason. Many people like to discard their reasoning faculty which God gave them and go into things of, of abstract things which won't give you what you can find out with your own brain and reasoning or using reasoning or logic. Abstract things. You throw your tower cards on the floor. What does the tower card say? Will my lover come back? What it is? Yo, it's obvious. Everything is obvious. Or what's the situation? You know what the situation is. You have to use intelligence. This is very important. Because intelligence will save you a lot of time. And it will save you a lot of money. Because when you know what your situation is, but you're paying extra, you're paying money for something which you already know. Because you're doubting. You're doubting. You're almost like doubting Thomas in a situation. You know, you know what the situation is, but you choose not to believe in yourself. You need sometimes. What it is, you want comfort. You want someone to talk to because you fucked up and you missed your lover. So sometimes subconsciously, you find yourself paying just to hear someone to comfort you. But intelligence on the part of the spiritual worker is a necessity. Because the intelligence limits a lot of things. I'm not getting into the abstract thing because, you know, it's, it's very confusing. How can a person understand what they're going through? Many people like to leave clients in the dark. They like to get them into this superstitious thing. Oh, you know, the person doesn't work on your lover. After you cracked them, on a, you cracked them over the head with a bottle, you know that's what you did, but they're telling you someone did spiritual work to pull your lover. You like that because it makes you feel comfortable. It takes responsibility from you. Reason is important. And when I do, when I speak to clients, I like to use reason. Not everything has a spiritual source. Some can just be your plain fucked up actions. You're cursing your boyfriend, you fucking dirty nigga. Get the fuck out of my house. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Take your shit and get the fuck on. Talking to your woman, talking to your man in a horrific ways has consequences. It's not someone, you know, uh, you know, taking your lover and doing work. Sometimes it's you. Take responsibility for your action and make a change in your life. So with that said, I conclude this video.